Hello and welcome to another lecture of Maven Zero to Hero series. In this lecture, we are going to learn about Maven Arch type and learn about automatic project creation. So far, we have been creating projects in Pomlet XML and all other demo classes manually. And I know it's very painful. And in all the other lectures, I kept saying that Maven provides us an automated tool to get rid of boilerplate boilerplate codes. This lecture will teach you how to automatically generate the boilerplate folder, pre-configured folder structure and many other things. In this lecture, we will learn about Arch type plugin, uh, most use Arch type, multi-model Arch type and uh, take a look at some of the custom Arch type. And we are also going to create a custom Arch type from scratch and we'll see how to use that a uh, new custom arch type that you've just created. Now the word arch type has roots in Greek literature. It's derived from two Greek words, archin and typos. The word archin means original or old, while typos means patents. Therefore the word arch type it in itself means original patents. The figure here shows the relationship between a Maven project, a project arch type, and projects generated from an arch type. Arch type is nothing but a, you can say a blueprint of how a project should look like. Whether it should have a separate folder for logging, whether it should have a separate folder for configuration. You define a skeleton and you provide a Maven command to generate that uh, folder structure for you. Now up to this point you have created the Maven project manually generating folders and creating pomped XML from scratch. This has become very very tedious especially when you frequently have to create projects. To address this issue Maven provides arch type. Maven arch type are project templates that allow user to generate new projects easily and when we create a Java project. We need to structure it in different ways based on the type of the project like I just explained. For, so for example, if it's a Java Enterprise Edition web application, then we need to have a webinf directory and a web.xml file. That's given, you know, every Java e project must have that file. So it will be cumbersome to create those files manually every single time. And say if it's a Maven plugin project, we need to have a Mojo class like we saw in the previous lectures. Uh, a class that extends or Apache Maven plugin apps at Mojo. And as each type of project has its own predefined structure, why would everyone have to, uh, you know, build the same structure again and again? Why not start with a template or a, a skeleton? And each project can have its own skeleton and developer can simply extend the template to suit their requirements. Now the best way to learn about Arch type is to dive head in and learn by getting your hands, hands dirty in the code. But before we do that, uh, here are some quick facts. Maven Arch type in itself is a plugin. The generate goal of the Arch type plugin is used to generate a Maven project from an Arch type. This command will invoke the generate goal of the Maven Arch type plugin to create a simple Java project and you'll see that the uh, the project structure is created from a sample pomlet file and uh, the name of the root or the base directory is derived from the value of the artifact ID parameter. So let's uh, take a quick look at one of the example or the demo and uh, we'll go on from there. So let's begin by typing maven arch type colon generate which is the goal then we need to provide the um, what do we say group id and uh, let's call the group id as uh, com dot maven com dot zero dot maven next uh, we need to provide an artifact ID that is a name and we're going to say minus D artifact equals to let's call it uh, first arch type 
then we create the version number by providing minus d version and uh, then we are going to type something called interactive mode which I'm going to explain later what what it does and for now we're going to just set it to false and let's wait for the command to execute so as you can see the command is executed now and it has uh, created a, a sample code and the artifact ID is called first arch type. So let's take a look at um, the command that we just ran. What did it actually create inside uh, project folder first arch type? So as you can see, uh, it has created uh, artifact ID first arch type, and it created the group ID com zero dot sample as we uh, did. And by default, uh, it's going to add JUnit4 as one of the dependencies. And um, then we're going to take a look at the class type, uh, the class name that is created. So it's, it has created a basic arch type which says uh, app test and it's, it has just a hello world in there. And it just created an app test and uh, just the basic sample of a, a test suit that's it arch type interactive mode now this is the simplest way to get started with a maven project in the previous example we used the non interactive mode by setting interactive mode equal to false and what this does is it forces the plugin to use whatever values we pass in the command line itself along with the default values now as you saw in the earlier uh, demo uh, we had to write a long list of uh, minus d slash slash something uh, and it was very cumbersome but you can avoid all that using uh, interactive mode now to invoke the plugin in the interactive mode you just have to type maven arch type generate and this will prompt user for input as the plugin proceeds with its execution the very first one is to ask for a filter or a number of uh, for the type of the arch type as we'll see in the next demo now here's a sample of uh, our first demo that we ran and here you can see we have to provide a long list of commands uh, such as providing group id artifact id version and interactive mode equal to false and therefore it just went ahead and created with the default values that we have provided so we're going to set this value to true and we are going to uh, delete everything else and we're just going to keep maven arch type colon generate now it's not necessary to uh, provide minus d interactive mode equal to true because by default it's uh, set to true so you can either provide minus d interactive mode equal to true or you can just type maven arch type generate but i wanted to show you the example of uh, uh, of the non default type basically you type in everything uh, by hand and proceed so uh, once you do this you'll see a lot of uh, predefined arch type in here and there right now we can see there are about 1500 or so and these are nothing uh, but a different type of project structure uh, that are already built for you so for example there could be one for creating an apache camel project a kafka project or it could be a plain old java enterprise edition web object uh, web app uh, so for now we are going to choose let's say a random number 471 and that is for creating a, a Keraf camel arch type for creating fabricate with the fabricate server and uh, then it's going to arch ask us which is the version type which which is a possibility if there are multiple version we're just going to choose one and as you can see it's going to download everything from the uh, maven re repository and it's going to create for you and then uh, it's going to ask us for a group id and we're going to type com maven sample and we're going to call that artifact id as first arch type 
uh, interactive uh, I think I mistyped the spelling but uh, it doesn't matter then we're going to provide the version number uh, it's by default it's going to use 1.0 snapshot you can change it or you can just leave it as is and again it's going to ask the same for package we are going to leave it as is if you want to change you can provide a different package name and then it's going to ask for confirmation and we hit enter it's going to create the package for us so let's just quickly go in and see how that looks like so we're going to enter the directory and you can see it has created the pom and source file for us and uh, i just d uh, type tree to show you the uh, tree structure so it basically created the source fabricate data order one two three four five xml uh, sample class file called sample and a resource is called cbr and it created a sample test file for you so that's the uh, project structure that's defined for uh, kafka you could have chosen any if not you can also create uh, define a custom arch type of your own create your own project folder structure create a new skeleton and use that and that we're going to see in the last part of this lecture